So after traveling the world for more than five years, visiting some of the most interesting countries, going to some of the most interesting places, doing some of the most interesting things, and meeting some of the most interesting people, the inevitable has finally happened. I ran out of money. So basically, I have to tell you the bad news. The bad news is I'm going to take a break from YouTube. I knew this was going to happen. I just didn't know when or how soon. I've been traveling for a while and I've gotten really good at spending as little money as possible while traveling throughout the world. In fact, that is how I've been able to travel so long. But eventually, money will run out and it did. In fact, just a couple of days ago, I contacted my bank for the first time in more than a year. Uh, I don't contact my bank very much. And I asked them how much is in my account because I don't really do online banking. And she told me and I just about shit my pants. I realized things are not where I want them to be. I have enough money to get home if I choose to. Basically, I always have a reserve, a reserve just in case something crazy happens or if I need to make an emergency run home or uh, something like that. So yes, I have enough to survive. That's not an issue. However, enough to travel and continue traveling? Nope, it's pretty much over. So for the next few months, I'm basically going to have to take a break from YouTube, a break from traveling, and kind of focus my attention on replenishing my bank account. So by the time you're watching this video, I have probably already canceled my Patreon account, or at least put it on hold. I feel far too guilty to accept donations from people every month when I'm not going to create content. It just feels weird to me. So I have chosen to decline the payments for now. But honestly, I want to thank all of you who have supported me over the last couple of years and have donated to Patreon. You have actually purchased this gimbal for me. Really, that is a, a big deal because if you watch my content over the last year, the footage has been so much better because of this gimbal. So thank you, Patreons, for that. Not every Patreon has stuck with me for three years, but I definitely want to acknowledge those who took the time to help me out. There have been 18 of you. I just want to read them off one by one. Glenn, Alexander, Dakatube, Jessica, Alden, Michael, Mike, Damon, Jake, Elizabeth, Ray, Rohan, a name in Chinese that I can't pronounce, but thank you. Jethro, Simona, Terence, and Andrew. Honestly though, thank you. Um, you guys have all contributed to helping me buy this gimbal. And also, there's a little bit left over, which I'm actually going to use and apply that towards my next piece of equipment. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I cannot buy it in this country, but when I return and I exit this country, I am 99% sure I'm going to buy this one device. And I think it will be a really unique thing and possibly a game changer for not only my channel but travel vlogs in general so it could be a, a, a big deal but it's a secret for now for those of you who are interested in helping me out in the future i started a different profile on a website called coffee basically it allows for one-time donations as well as monthly so unfortunately patreon they only allow monthly commitments i feel too much pressure right now unfortunately so i just want to deactivate that and I'll focus on one-time donations. So if anybody wants to help out, feel free. Or you can buy a hat, yeah. But you don't have to do anything. Just watch my videos would be cool. You can always go to solotravel365.com slash donate. You can see the ways that you can help me as well if that's something that you're interested in. Another blow recently has been when I had my credit cards stolen on my first day in Albania. I contacted both of my banks and they said, yep, don't worry, everything is canceled. Um, you're not responsible for the, the credit card fraud. Well, just a couple of days ago, I contacted my bank again because I realized those charges are back on my account. When I contacted them, they said, oh yeah, we did an investigation and it turns out that you're liable for everything because basically we don't believe you. So awesome. They think that I randomly bought tons of gasoline and snacks and pharmaceuticals and random plane tickets out of the country basically over a thousand dollars i'm responsible for because they just don't believe me so now i have to pay for that also yeah so anyway i'm going to take a break from youtube i'm going to try to replenish my bank account for a while and then i will come back but before i end this video i need to kind of vent there's been things i've been thinking about for a while just kind of frustrating i guess as a youtuber I have a love-hate relationship with YouTube. It's becoming more of a hate relationship. I think a lot of YouTubers feel that as well. Mm, everyone is different, I suppose. Everyone has different channels, different content. I wrote just a few things here that, I don't know, that were on my mind, and I figured I'd share them with you in case you're interested in listening to me vent. 
basically, I just have a couple cons being a YouTuber, I guess, in the travel vlogging space is um, obviously, my channel is small. That's kind of frustrating. Who would not love to have, you know, a massive, massive audience? I understand this takes a long time to get there. Totally get it. Um, and unfortunately, my channel has not really grown very much in the last five years. So because of that, obviously, I have few views and obviously that leads to little income. Five years is a lot of time. I mean, a lot of time, which leads me kind of to the second one, how much time it takes to be a travel vlogger. I mean, if you really look at the numbers and how much time I've invested in this, it's just... It's just insane. Every video that's on my channel, there are more than 300 videos at this point in time. And each one has taken anywhere between four hours and 50 hours, five zero for one video. I have put little amounts of time in a video and they've gone viral. And I've put lots of time in a video and nothing happened, like zero people have watched them. It's crazy. So it can be very, very frustrating as a creator to invest so much time into one little thing and literally nobody watches it. It's a really frustrating thing. It is what it is, I guess. In addition, I guess the, the third con, obviously my channel is small, so not a lot of people watch my content. And because of that, income is very low. If I look at this as a business, um, which it totally isn't, I would say I invest about 75 US dollars per video. And there's more than 300 videos on my channel. So to make one video, it costs about $75. So that includes days that I've spent several hundred dollars to go out and go places just to film, just to show you that. It costs several hundred dollars to make that video. In other videos, I talk to the camera and it doesn't cost anything. It just costs my time. Yeah, so if you divide everything out on my channel, yeah, it's about $75 per video. And if you calculate that out versus how much money I've made from each video, huh, it's not even close. I haven't even seen anywhere near that money in return from the video. So uh, from a business perspective, uh, YouTube is just awful uh, for me and my particular channel. Obviously there are some people who are just dominating outside of this niche and within the travel niche. That's cool, awesome, unfortunately not my channel. But the plus side to being a YouTuber, a travel YouTuber, travel vlogger, whatever I'm called, is basically uh, two things that really jump out at me. One, comments, listening to the comments from all of you is usually cool. I would say about 95% of every comment on my channel is a positive one. There's some crazy people who post some negative stuff. Some are really awful. 95% of the time, it's really good. I enjoy that because reading comments from other people who also are crazy like me and love traveling the world or would love to be able to do it. I post a video from their, their village or from their area and they love watching it from my perspective or there's just tons of different people who watch my content. It's really fun to read through those messages. That's just a fun aspect of being a YouTuber. But I would say the biggest motivation for me to continue on YouTube is actually me. Uh, I am my biggest motivation, kind of. What I mean by that is when I post these videos, I am able to relive them in the future. So five, 10, 20, 30 years from now, I will have these videos, whether YouTube exists or not, I will still have them on a hard drive and I'll be able to relive my experience. I'll be able to watch my videos again and just kind of go through that journey again. And I've done that already on my channel, watching some of my older videos from a few years ago. It's fun. I wanted to see what it was like in that country again, in the culture and the people. And so I would watch my videos again. It was fun, it was interesting. And I'm like, oh yeah, I remember this now. It's just something that you can't get from a photo. Sure, you take a photo of yourself next to a building or with a person and five, 10 years from now, you'll look at that photo and say, oh yeah, I remember I was there, but I don't remember everything about it. I don't remember everything that happened and you will struggle to remember all these little pieces. Unfortunately, that's just the reality. So making videos, is awesome because I can literally relive that moment, that journey, that day, that experience, that country. So it's awesome. Again, the downside is the amount of time that I have to invest to make one video. An average 10 minute video on my channel, I'll probably invest close to 10 to 13 hours. That includes all of the editing, that includes all of the YouTube uploading, tagging, titling, transcribing, translating. I mean, it's, it's a really deep process that takes a lot of time. And obviously the longer the video, 25 minute videos will take about 20 hours of clicking and editing. It's just insane. So when I try to weigh everything out, it's a, it's a, really, it's a really difficult calculation to weigh out 
is YouTube worth it? Is being a YouTuber worth it for me? There's a lot of negativity, there's a lot of time. The other thing that I haven't told you is basically when I wake up in the morning, I have two options. I can either A, go out and enjoy my day and travel and meet new people, do new things, try new foods, see new sites, or option two, stay home and edit the footage that I filmed a couple of days ago and edit and upload it so you can see it. So that is a daily struggle for me. Basically, one day of filming will equal two or three days of sitting at home and editing and clicking. So. I mean, the goal for me is to travel and experience a country, a culture, people, but when 50% of the time I'm stuck in editing and only 50% of the time I can go out and play, or even sometimes less than that, it's, uh, it's really frustrating. I don't know of a better word to describe it. It, it is frustrating. Yep, it is. So, I, 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 in a perfect, perfect world, honestly, I just wish that I had enough money where I could I could hire a videographer who films me as I go throughout a country and interact with whoever I interact with. That'd be awesome. And B, I wish I had editors who would just sit and edit all of my stuff so I didn't even have to do any of that. Literally just go create content. Oh my God, I would go everywhere and do everything every day and I would just have so much content for you. It would be like every two days you'd have a new video. But I don't have that amount of time and certainly don't have that amount of money. So unfortunately, it's kind of a slow process with a lot of stress. Again, despite all that negativity, I'm still going to continue on YouTube because I think the motivation for me to have a video of myself, 10 years in the future, I'll be able to go back and watch these videos and I'll be very thankful that I took the time to do that even though it was stressful at the time. So yeah, it's a, it's a love-hate relationship between uh, me and YouTube, YouTube and I, and this whole travel vlogging thing. I just need a break. My bank account needs a break, unfortunately. I just need to earn a few more dollars to continue my, my adventures. This will take some time. I have a project that I'm working on right now. I'm not going to go into details of what it is, but for the last several weeks, I've been working on this, this project, and I will continue to do this for a while, probably several more months, until I feel comfortable, until I feel a little bit more financially stable and then I'll be able to go back out and everything will be probably just like it was before. That's my guess. But for now, I just have to play it safe and uh, slow down a little bit. Slow down a lot, actually. Just wait. Wait for the storm to blow over. Wait for this uh, bank account to kind of come back to life a little. As you have possibly seen, I live by the philosophy of work hard, play hard. And obviously for the last five years, I've definitely been playing hard. I guess it's now time to... Um, calm down a little bit and uh, work hard for a bit before I go out and start another adventure. So again, if any of you want to help out, you can go to the website listed below. Or if you know any hot sugar mamas who want to adopt a, a middle-aged man and uh, you know financially support him as he travels the world, you let me know. Or what else are they called? Uh, cougars, yeah, a cougar. Sugar mama, a cougar. If you know any of those, you make sure you uh, send me a message. <laughs> I'm joking, but well, maybe I'm not. I'm pretty much sold on the idea of travel. I will literally do anything to keep this dream alive. Traveling is the most amazing thing ever. I don't want to stop. Honestly, I have no intentions of ever going back to the United States to live. It's just so boring. After you get out and after you start traveling and get a taste of people, of culture, of of lifestyles, of foods, of scenery. It's just a drug. It is my drug. Travel is my drug. I love it so much and I, I, I have no intentions of stopping. I will continue. It's just a matter of time. Unfortunately, it's just a small bump in the road that I'm going through and uh, I'll be back on my feet before too long and this whole thing will start all over again. So that's it. That's basically all I have for you. If any of you have Instagram and you're not following me, be sure to do so. Everything is under Edges of Earth. I post there more frequently. You can kind of see where I'm at and what I'm doing throughout the day in real time. Yeah, so be sure to check me out there. Anyway, thank you all for your support over the last five years. Again, this is not goodbye forever. This is goodbye um, just for now. Yeah, I'll, I'll be back. Just give me a little bit of time and everything will be somewhat back to normal. Thanks for listening to me mumble and vent. I have a, a lot of things on my mind right now because of, ah, it's just so crazy. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Remember, your time is running out. Start living, 